Oh, he's I'll, like, huh. I'll just shoot in I that direction. My grandpa's got a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> my grandpa's got a flashlight, Kami. Uh, <laughs> Kami has a gun. <laughs> hey, Bill, tell them why uh, Russian MO is made out of steel. If Kami has not work. B <laughs> hey, Buell, I'm here. I love you, I love you here, brother. It didn't work. <laughs> so, uh, Sonny Pazikas uh, is, is here to give a presentation. The one this morning was excellent. I expect no different from this one. If you don't know much about Sonny, I'll tell you, I, I think I said this the other day, but how I knew that Sonny was going to be one of my favorite trainers ever, you guys have never seen The Blooming Death. <laughs> AK thumb trigger guard pistol. <laughs> and I, when I saw that, I was like, "This is the dude I want to hang out with." <laughs> but uh, but but Sonny's a good dude. He's become a, a, a moderate friend of mine. Not a I mean I wouldn't say good friend. <laughs> you know, trust but verify. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, no, just kidding, just kidding. But uh, the reason uh, I I encourage people to train with Sonny is because he is way different than anybody else any any of us you know westerners he thinks about things totally different than we do and so when people see like a clip or a photo from his class they go, oh that's stupid and they don't understand there's a whole mindset that goes along with that and and so that's why I recommend people train with him because because you have to go out and find stuff that's different just to know if you like the stuff you're already doing or not like you don't know if you like isosceles until you try weaver so I encourage all you guys that haven't trained with Sonny, if this if this presentation doesn't do it, I'm telling you, you owe it to yourself to train with somebody that's fucking crazy <laughs> and does things totally different than everybody else. And this is the only dude in this country doing stuff like him. Thanks, James. <laughs> I love you too, my moderate friend. <laughs> I'll pay you an Adidas currency. Uh, I'm here to insult people. I'm here to use an appropriate language, but uh, also I think maybe, just maybe, somewhere in that process there will be a message that uh, hopefully will uh, encourage you at least to look at things and evaluate things, which you, things that you already are doing. The idea is how do we hack our training process? Now, let me kind of preface this and say that, uh, first of all, you guys are, you know, minority. And I'm not talking minority in the big picture of, you know, what's going on in, uh, in, in this country and how most people out there are. You are minority in the training. People that actually do train, people that actually attend training events and, and seek skills and seek to improve themselves. Well, let me ask you a question. By the way, this is this is participation. I don't want this to be a freaking lecture. By the way, I, I will use the f bombs and all that stuff. So if you offend it, door is that way. What is this about this group? About tactical response? About this tribe? What what are we? What what qualities we as a group possess? Huh? Accountability. Accountability. In what in what sense, Chris? Accountability to whom? To each other. Like we all see what each other do. One of us is doing something screwed up, we're worried about it because the other people are going to see it and they're going to call us on it. You're not going to get away with anything with this group that you would get away with on any other range or with any other group of people, personally or skill-wise. Okay. Personal behavior, personal integrity, personal okay. responsibility. Okay. I'll make a check mark on that, yes, sir. Open-minded? Open-minded. Again, that's, that one is, you know, when you take open-minded compared to what? Oh, oh okay. You know what I mean? So, so that's also this, this big sliding scale, open mind and compared to what? What else? Desire to be better, to make ourselves better and the people around us better. Okay. We are the warriors. Okay. Well, coming from you, I will take that at the, at the face value. <laughs> so far, we're saying a lot of good, good, good things about ourselves. I'm waiting until we exhaust that shit, <laughs> you know, and we kind of self-reflect a little bit which is always a good thing to do, right? To self-reflect. So I'll, I'll wait for that, I'll be patient. Give me other good things until we exhaust those about us. What else are we? We are students. Students, good, good. What does that imply? We are working on our craft and we are here to learn. Okay. We don't know everything. We do not. There's also saying you don't know what you don't know, right? What else? What's that? We're critical of 
We critical of ourselves to a certain degree. Would you agree? Let me throw one out there. And if someone gets butt hurt, my middle name is butt hurt. Um, are we as critical to, towards ourselves within people within our group within this tribe as we are towards those outside of our tribe? No. No? Why is that? Why not? Because we like the people in our tribe. <laughs> so we treat them more with the white gloves, would you say? Yes. Would you say that we as a group, as a collective, consider ourselves somewhat as a enlightened in comparison to most other people, even the ones that are, you know, in the gun community, gun culture, people that train. Do we think that as a group we are more woke, more enlightened? Yeah? I, I, I would say in conversations, in discussions, in, in, in group discussions, that, that yes, we do project that towards each other. You know, like, like uh, we always laugh about the elites, you know, they think that they are we do. We do. Some of it is justified, too. How many here are aware of a... Uh, well, shit, what a question. A hot, crazy matrix. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is about matrix. And that matrix, I'm going to draw something for you. Just for it to stick for the rest of hour and 20 minutes. So this is hot, right? Yes. And this is cray cray. <laughs> okay, cool. So let me ask you all a question now, objectively. What components make another person hot? Whether it's same gender if you swing that way, or opposite gender, I don't give a shit. What, what constitutes hotness? Independence, very good. Symmetry. Symmetry, so. Facial symmetry. And other parts of the body <laughs> close to symmetrical. Yeah, that, that, that works, that works. I, I agree with you there. All right, what else? Ass. What? Ass. You, my man. <laughs> <laughs> what else? We're kind of joking, but I'm kind of serious too. What is confidence? Confidence. I like that. I like that. Confidence. All right. We're going to draw something here and you'll see where this goes. Would you say that if you even took uh, like uh, one of the parameters of hot confidence, that often itself can be broken into a separate matrix and into components of it? Yeah? Cool. All right. Uh, what attributes, what, what components would make together what is considered crazy? Erratic behavior, okay. What else? Illogical. Okay, Irrational. doesn't follow logic. What else? Irrational, what else? Mood swings. Mood swings. <laughs> shit. <laughs> the way you said it sounds like you had experience with shit like that or something. Eyes. Eyes, crazy eyes. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Red hair. Red hair, Tiffany, we know that. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I only have less than two hours to hurt your feelings. So I'm going to hurt your feelings a little bit. To limit the butt hurt, we're only going to use a very limited scope of that word that we all like to repeat and we hear in our seminars and training sessions, fight. I'm going to let this sink in. Where are you on shooter fighter matrix? What do you think, guys? Now, let me clarify something I didn't clar clarify in the morning. I'm the one looking into it. I'm the bad guy who wants to do something to you. Where are you? Are you in the no-go zone? Let me ask you all a question. The reason why I'm only doing shooter and gun fighter, I should have said, gun fighter, 
is this because if we go into a fighter as a complete fighter this is going to be a major butt hurt this is going to be a major butt hurt so we just stick with simple gun fighter all right all right ladies and gentlemen you remember i asked you components of hot or crazy okay give me components of competent shooter Accuracy, boom, big one. You got to hit what the fuck you need to hit, right? Gun handling. Gun handling. Speed. Good, yeah. I'll take with that. I'll go with gun handling and speed. What else for a shooter? Good tactics. What is that? Good tactics. Tactics don't mean shit for shooter. That situational awareness means shit for shooter. Discipline. Consistency? Consistency. I'll go with that for shooter. Consistency. You can repeat on command constantly, consistently your performance. You can duplicate your performance. It's not I got lucky. It's not, oh shit, a good shot. No, this is what I do. Okay? Consistency. Um, it's too long to write and then I'm gonna fuck it up and then you're gonna laugh that my grammar is fucked up <laughs> Would you say that each one of those can be broken down into separate components? Yes. Yeah? How many of you actually evaluate your own training and your Competency in each area of your preparedness For violence. How many of you evaluate it to such detail? I, I, I knew some hands. I knew already which hands will raise Honestly, be honest. How many of you can honestly raise your hand that you truly evaluated these four just as a shooter for yourselves? Okay, so it's a minority. But you know what I like about it? It's honest. <laughs> Good. Good. The worst fucking thing you can ever do is lie to yourself. The worst fucking thing you can ever do is lie to yourself. Uh, my back hurts, I'm not going to go any lower than that. Give me a component what makes a competent gunfighter. Gunfighter. Mindset. Okay, I'll go with that. By the way, by mindset, what do you mean by mindset? We will expand on this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to circle this that way, I don't forget. What do you mean by mindset? So would you say that would be more like a will? Who said that? Who's the crazy fuck right there? <laughs> <laughs> we don't I'm say. This is a side note. Remember, our neural system is wired to where words have words have meaning. Words really have meaning. Be careful what you say. It has zero to do with legal consequences or anything else. It's for yourself from the perspective that words become what you believe. There is a saying that, you know, pray out loud. I discourage all of my students to ever use the word survive. It's defensive and reactive in nature. I prefer prevail. Words have meaning. So when you say kill, okay, I'd be careful with that, not because I'm a sensitive person. Do I look like a sensitive person to you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Uh, unwilling and or unable to continue. This is not something to do with legal. Okay? This is just more... Kill <laughs> the word itself inadvertently involves and starts fostering certain emotion. Let's continue. By the way, by the way, so I, I, I mentioned Tanny would probably go down the floor all the way to the door if we really discussed all the attributes and important things for a gunfighter, but I'll just put this as, a, as, as at the end. <clears throat> Are you getting the message? 
shooting is very, very important, but a relatively small part of gunfighting. Okay. Agree, disagree? Agree. Agree. I don't want this collective party line. It sounds like a communist fucking <laughs> you know, meeting here. Everybody's like, yeah, the party said so. It goes. <laughs> so <laughs> as I'm standing here next to AK, anyone disagrees? <laughs> we need eight more points to fill. Tactics. tactics. Can you explain to me tactics? What tactics Give, mean? Giving us more chances to shoot than the bad guy. And also not getting shot. So would you say tactics would probably describe uh, creating more opportunities for yourself while eliminating opportunities for your opponents, right? Yes. Okay, so we call this opportunity matrix. Are you starting to... There's a lot of matrices. Things are starting to click maybe a little bit there? You would have to have like fucking 40 t-shirts. <laughs> for that shit. Which, by the way, my dear, write it down in our notes. Business opportunity. All right, next. Mental toughness. mental toughness. What does mental toughness mean? The ability to fight through adversity and pain and know that you're not, just because you're hit doesn't mean you've lost. <laughs> what, what would be the fancy word in English? Perseverance? There you go. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> How the fuck you spell perseverance? P E R C E R V E N C E. There you go. Good enough. Aggressiveness. Uh, adaptability. Adaptability. Um, to be able to change tactics uh, to counter something that you see or or to uh, to exploit an advantage. Okay, I like that. I like that. Adaptability. Someone mentioned aggression. Yes, who mentioned aggression? You aggressive looking young man. Let me see how your feelings react to this one. Aggression is weakness pretending to be strength. What do you think about that? When they teach SWAT tactics, entry teams and all that stuff, what do they say team has to possess? What kind of attributes team has to have in order to be good and achieve what needs to be achieved? Element of surprise, right? Boom. What's next? What's that? Violence of action. Violence of action, which many people interpret as aggression. Correct. Okay. What is the key word in there, what Chris just said? Action. Yet most people, when they perceive violence of action, they think it's attitude. Attitude is get the fucking job done. Okay, get the job done. You don't need to be in your mind aggressive with your face looking like you're foaming bulldog because it doesn't scare me. I've seen faces. Your aggressive attitude only changes you. It doesn't change anything around you. But overall, aggressive attitude is not a positive attribute. Aggression of action is. So what else we need there? Decisiveness. Okay, I like that word good. Decisiveness, how would you describe decisiveness? What decisiveness means to you? The ability to make a decision and stick to it and do it quickly. Ah, this is good. This is good. We're going to circle this one because... <laughs> Someone said physical fitness, right? Someone mentioned physical fitness. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm totally down with that. Uh, do you think that years of, uh, you know, back in the 80s, the guy with about 70 pounds extra of beer in here and a uh, shiny chrome 1911 in the small of the back? I don't need no boxing. I got 45. Do you think, <laughs> do you think those days are gone? Absolutely. No, they're fucking not gone. In our group, they are. Do you think they're gone out there? Oh, no, no, no. Hell no. Hell no, they are alive and well, okay? And even in the groups like ours, this tribe, to a certain degree, that is lip service and not necessary a truly determined action. Ask me how I know. How do you know? 
I teach people and I see when they talk about decisiveness, when they talk about uh, perseverance and all that stuff and they say, you know, even if I'm shot three times I'll continue fighting and then I put them in a the push-up position on their knuckles and 45 seconds later they give up. Big game, reality. Why it got so silent, there's this awkward silence going on here. That's the butter sinking in. Yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. I, I did not bring any preparation H or anything like that with me, so I apologize. Thanks for watching. Sunny Puzikas with Forward Training Concepts. Subscribe, follow, share.